This is Brian Hogg again, creator of the working title, Puppet Show, New Media Horror. Um, it is later in the day, March 5th, and uh, I'm going to cut that out because uh, he looks so vain. Okay, we're going to go beep. It's uh, later in the day, uh, March 5th, and this is now going to be, going to be hold on. <laughs> no, I'm going to start again. later in the day, March 5th, and I have just completed, uh, barring some touch-ups of paint and such, the, uh, the iteration of the, oh, the boardroom set, which I will show you now. And also my dog is trying to get me. Jack, get him. Off. No. Nope. Don't make me do the joke to all the people who will eventually be watching this. So this is, this is the set. All right, it's later. Wait, beep. It's uh, later in a little later in the day. Beep. It's a little later in the day, in March fifth, and I've just completed painting the boardroom set and have just nailed the table into position. Possibly, I, I could have just made it like a screw or something, or I could remove it. But what the hell? Uh, and uh, here it is. So, oh, sorry. So this is the set. As you can see, it still look, it looks, I think, much cooler, and the blue picks up the brown and vice versa, versa, vice versa, uh, quite nicely in here. And you see, there's the side. Now there are some bits like here I need to touch up, and here, uh, because I'm not a painter, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not. Um, and so here, so a bit of a problem. Being that if I do a shot like say this, that you can't see the bottom, then you can see the top. Whereas if I do this, unless I'm zoomed into about here, you can still see the bottom. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting, and it'll be for the whole thing, just getting some like semi-transparent, I don't know if it's called Lexin or whatever, just like the the plastic, and putting it right here and sort of up about a foot, uh, you couldn't really see my hand gestures there, but basically uh, up a foot or so, uh, and then getting some fluorescent lights, this is, you know, I'm considering getting some fluorescent lights like here and behind the other sides as well, to create sort of an interesting backlighting thing, and also to compensate for the fact that you can see the wallpaper that was already on the wall when I got here. I didn't pick this wallpaper, I swear. Um, anyway, so that, that, and as it stands, I mean, there would be you know, like right there. Ooh. And then we've zoomed in and we focused. Um, it would be like right there would be a good shot of one person talking and then I could be like, oh, and then someone else is talking and then there's a person and then someone else who's like, say, right here is talking at the side of the table. Uh, you know, that could conceivably work because the puppet would be here and would be blocking the, hello, I'm talking, do the thing. You know, like that. Um, now, none of these will be Steadicam shots because, uh, well, I've only got, there's only one of me. I don't have any camera operators. So it'll be like a tripod um, kind of deal, which will also limit the amount of shots I can do. Anyway, um, that's it. For, that's that's the build of the, of the table, which I think looks pretty cool. And the blue is working quite well. It's still drying, so it looks a little splotchy. Um, but I think it looks uh, quite, quite good. And is a good color. The uh, you know the fixes I have to make obviously don't look so good.